everyone. So I have um, something I wanted to uh, talk about. It's not my normal subscription box review that I do on my YouTube channel, um, but it's just something that I thought might be helpful to share my experience and put it out there. Um, so we have, at the end of this week, um, is Valentine's Day. And I know that's a day that a lot of women can feel really bad, uh, that they're not in a relationship or maybe they're in a failing relationship or something like that. Well, I am uh, 33. I am not married. And um, I never really had um, a great relationship. And I don't know why. Um, and I know I'm always open to it and I'm hopeful that it'll happen. But um, I thought it might be helpful for some of you to hear how I feel when uh, days like this come. Because I know people feel really sad. Well, I feel sad too sometimes. And I think that's okay. Um, I, I'm a b big believer in you experience what you're going to experience. And you feel the emotion and then you move on. Um, you're a human being. You're going to have days where you feel jealous. You're going to have days where you feel sad. You're going to have days when you feel angry. So what do you do with that? You've got that emotion. Okay, what am I going to do with it? And a lot of times uh, that emotion is, uh, is tagged on to some major distorted thinking. So like let's say you're feeling frustrated and angry at somebody. Well, you might say... Uh, they are they they are dishonest all the time so you say that that's not true it's obviously not true they're not dishonest all the time or they would be in jail um or you might say let's say you uh burn cookies that you made and you might say i'm such a mess up i'm the worst cook ever that's a distorted thought you're not the worst cook ever there's not a, been a contest uh and declared you the worst cook um you've just burnt something. So a lot of times it's helpful for me to say, okay, I'm feeling this. Okay, what's the reality and what's my distorted thought? And it helps you to be able to make sense of it and to be able to work on it and do better. Because um, like I said, we're all human. We're all gonna feel those things. We're all gonna deal with those things. And, um, and I just found that that is the healthiest thing healthiest way for me to handle that. So when it comes to relationships, sometimes it can be frustrating for me because it's so out of my control. I, uh, you know, I'm a, a person of faith and I believe that um, God does have a plan for me and that there are people that, um, not just a relationship, but also friends that I need to make, people I need to help. Um, maybe all somebody will need this video, who knows, but that there are those people that God wants me to help, needs me to help. And um, and I believe that's true for all of us. And even if you don't necessarily believe in God, I think most of us believe there's some kind of purpose for what, what we're supposed to do here and uh, why we're here. So um, if you can try to kind of connect back to that as much as you can, because it's that lack of control that I think frustrates so many of us, including myself, from time to time. And, you know, so try to put it back into a place that you do feel that control and you feel like you can make a difference. And um, and I think sometimes it even helps to just make a list. Okay, these are the things that I can do to improve a relationship that I do have in my life. These are the things that I can make better. And I think if you do that, you'll feel a lot more empowered than if you're just feeling sad that you don't have a, a husband, a boyfriend, whatever it might be. And know that weight does not have anything to do with having a relationship or not having a relationship. That is such a fallacy. Um, there are lots of heavier girls who have, who are married in successful relationships and they met their spouse when they looked that way. Okay. And, uh, there are lots of skinny girls, even supermodels, that aren't married and in a relationship. So it doesn't have anything to do with finding, with being the most attractive person or finding the most attractive person. That's such a lie. It has to do with finding the person that you want to marry <laughs> and that wants to marry you. Um, because if we were all only attracted to tens, 
then there wouldn't be very many of us getting married. But thankfully, um, somebody will be attracted to me, even though maybe in the world's view, a modeling agency, maybe I would be a two. Uh, but to that person, they're going to see me as a 10 because they love me. And I really believe that that's true. <laughs> Sorry. Um, with everybody, it's not about being the most attractive because you'll never get there. You talk to a supermodel, I never have, but if you did, I guarantee you they would say, oh, I have this or this I'm working on or I can never lose those 10 pounds or I don't like my hair or my eyes or whatever it might be. We all have those things. And so it's not about finding the most attractive person or you being the most attractive person. It's about finding the person that that's attracted to you and that loves you. And if I knew the answer to that question, I would have found him, but I haven't, but that's okay. And so I think that's something so important to remember that you really are beautiful and that lots of people love you and that everyone has relationships in their life that they can work on and that they can make better. And so on a day like Valentine's Day, I challenge you to, um, to find some way to feel loved. And then you can make the holiday about that. And that's something all of us can do. Um, and that's something all of us can be a part of. And that's okay, you know, that it doesn't necessarily have to be about the kisses and the and the other, you know, the other passions that we all want because we're all human. But it can be just about love. And so I really would challenge you to do that. And also just try to have fun with it. Um, I've gotten a tradition that every year for Valentine's Day, I design a um, Valentine's Day card. And I have my friend who's a great graphic designer. She makes it up, and I'm, I'm going to post it on this video so you can see what they look like. And it's just been a really fun way for me to personalize the holiday and to make it make it something fun instead of something I dread. And um, so if it's maybe have invite some of your other single friends over and, and watch a bunch of uh, maybe big action movies, you know, to sort of thwart the holidays. I wouldn't recommend like renting a ton of romantic movies because that could be kind of depressing um, and totally delusional, even though I love them. Uh, and so, you know, or maybe a movie like 500 Days of Summer would be perfect because it's it's about, in, in its essence, a, a failed relationship. Um, but it can teach you a lot of things, I think, in that movie about love and about the journey of life um, and uh, the different experiences that we have to have before we get the big love. So, um, you know, I I just want us to put that out there. And um, I know that all of you guys are, are loved. And if anything, if, at least of all, you're loved by me. And I know that God loves you. And so don't be discouraged, don't be frustrated, and just go and have fun. And uh, and if you have any comments or anything that you'd like to share about your Valentines, um, just put them below and I will respond to them and we can have a discussion. It'll be great. So thanks. <laughs>